Merhaba. Hello. Hi. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, 1881 yılında Selanik, Kocakasım Mahallesi, Islahane Caddesi'nde üç katlı pembe bir evde doğdu. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk was born in a three-story pink house at Islahane Street, Kokakasim District, Salonika in 1881. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk was born in a three-story pink house at Islahane Street, Kokakasim District, Salonika in 1881. Babası Ali Rıza Efendi, annesi Zübeyde Hanım'dır. His father was Ali Riza Efendi and mother was Zubayd Hanim. His father was Ali Riza Efendi and mother was Zubayd Hanim. Baba tarafından büyük babası Hafız Efendi, Konya ve Aydın bölgesinden kocacık yörüklerine mensuptur. His paternal grandfather Hafiz Efendi is a member of Kokacik nomads from Konya and Aydın region. His paternal grandfather Hafiz Efendi is a member of Kokacik nomads from Konya and Aydın region. Annesi Zübeyde Hanım da eski bir Türk ailesinin kızıdır ve Selanik yakınlarındaki Langasa kasabasına yerleşmiştir. His mother Zübeyde Hanim, also a daughter of an old Turkish family, settled in the town of Langasa near Salonika. His mother Zubayd Hanim, also a daughter of an old Turkish family, settled in the town of Langesa near Salonika. Askerlik, vakıf katipliği ve bir süre kereste tüccarlığı gibi çeşitli alanlarda çalışan Ali Rıza Efendi, 1871 yılında Zübeyde Hanım ile evlendi. Ali Rıza Efendi who worked in various areas such as, a military officer, a pious foundation clerk and for some time a timber merchant and got married with Zubayd Hanim in 1871. Ali Reza Efendi who worked in various areas such as, a military officer, a pious foundation clerk and for some time a timber merchant and got married with Zubayd Hanim in 1871. Atatürk'ün beş kardeşinden dördü erken yaşta ölmüş, Sadece kız kardeşi Makbule Atadan hayatta kalmış ve 1956 yılına kadar yaşamıştır. For of Atatürk's five siblings died at an early age, only his sister Makbule Atadan survived and lived until 1956. For of Atatürk's five siblings died at an early age, only his sister Makbule Atadan survived and lived until 1956. Küçük Mustafa eğitimine Hafız Mehmet Efendi'nin mahalle mektebinde başlamış, daha sonra babasının isteği üzerine Şemsi Efendi mektebine nakledilmiştir. Little Mustafa commenced his education in Hafiz Mehmet Efendi's neighborhood school. Later he was transferred to Semsi Efendi school, because his father wished so. Little Mustafa commenced his education in Hafiz Mehmet Efendi's neighborhood school. Later he was transferred to Semsi Efendi school, because his father wished so. İlk öğrenimi sırasında 1888 yılında babasını kaybetti. During his primary education, he lost his father in 1888. During his primary education, he lost his father in 1888. Selanik Rüştiye Mektebine Kaydoldu He enrolled to Salonika Junior High School for Civil Servants. He enrolled to Salonika Junior High School for civil servants. Kısa bir süre sonra 1893'te askeri rüştiyeye geçti. After a short time in 1893, he transferred to military junior high school. 
After a short time in 1893, he transferred to military junior high school. Bu okuldaki matematik öğretmeni Mustafa Bey, 1896-1899 yılları arasında Mustafa Kemal'in adına Kemal ekleyerek Manastır Askeri İdadesini bitirir ve İstanbul'daki Harp Okulu'na başlar. It is at this school his math teacher Mustafa Bey added Kemal to his name in between 1896-1899. Mustafa Kemal finished Monastir Military Senior High School and commenced Military College in Istanbul. It is at this school his math teacher Mustafa Bey added Kemal to his name in between 1896 to 1899. Mustafa Kemal finished Monastir Military Senior High School and commenced military college in Istanbul. Bin dokuz yüz iki yılında Temen rütbesiyle mezun oldu ve eğitimine Harp Akademisinde devam etti. In 1902 he graduated with the rank of lieutenant and continued his education in military academy. In 1902 he graduated with the rank of lieutenant and continued his education in military academy. Ocak 1905'te akademiyi tamamladı ve yüzbaşı rütbesiyle mezun oldu. In January 1905 he completed the academy and graduated with the rank of a captain. In January 1905 he completed the academy and graduated with the rank of a captain. İlk olarak 1905-1907 yılları arasında Şam'daki 5. orduda görev yaptı. His first appointment was in Five Army in Damascus in between 1905 to 1907. His first appointment was in Five Army in Damascus in between 1905 to 1907. Bin dokuz yüz yedi de Emir Subaylığına terfi etti ve Manastır'daki üçüncü orduya atandı. He was promoted to adjutant major in 1907 and appointed to three army in monastery. He was promoted to adjutant major in 1907 and appointed to three army in monastery. Kendisi 19 Nisan 1909'da İstanbul'a giren kolordunun kurmay başkanıydı. He was the chief of staff of the army corps which entered Istanbul on the 19th of April 1909. He was the chief of staff of the army corps which entered Istanbul on the 19th of April 1909. 1910'da Fransa'ya gönderildi ve Picardie manevralarına katıldı. He was sent to France in 1910 and took part in Picardy maneuvers. He was sent to France in 1910 and took part in Picardy maneuvers. 1911 yılında İstanbul'a geri döndü ve Genelkurmay Başkanlığına bağlı olarak çalışmaya başladı. In 1911 he was back in Istanbul and started to work under the command of general staff. In 1911 he was back in Istanbul and started to work under the command of general staff. İtalyan kuvvetlerine karşı 22 Aralık 1911'de Tobruk muharebesini kazandı. He won the Battle of Tobruk against the Italian forces on the 22nd of December 1911. He won the Battle of Tobruk against the Italian forces on the 22nd of December 1911. Ardından 6 Mart 1912'de başkomutan olarak Derna cephesine atandı. He was then appointed to Derna Front as the commander in chief on the 6th of March 1912. 
He was then appointed to Dana Front as the Commander-in-Chief on the 6th of March 1912. Ekim 1912'de Balkan Savaşı başladığında, Mustafa Kemal Gelibolu ve Bolayır'daki birlikleriyle savaşa katıldı. When the Balkan War started in October 1912, Mustafa Kemal joined the battle with units in Gallipoli and Bolayır. When the Balkan War started in October 1912, Mustafa Kemal joined the battle with units in Gallipoli and Bolayır. In 1913 he was appointed to Sofia as the military attach. In 1913 he was appointed to Sofia as the military attach. Sofya'daki görevi sırasında yarbaylığa terfi etti. During his assignment in Sofia he was promoted to lieutenant colonel. During his assignment in Sofia he was promoted to lieutenant colonel. Askeri ataşelik görevi Ocak 1915'te sona erdi. His duty as the military attach ended in January 1915. His duty as the military attach ended in January 1915. Hoşça kalın. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you.